in online sales and online lecture series of operation research in last lecture we learned what is the operation research and at where we applied our operation research in our day to day life and all by using all operation research techniques like as transportation model assignment model queuing model replacement model inventory model decision tree or decision model and a project management right so we learned in last lecture as a history of oa and today we will learn a different characteristics of operation research what are the characteristics of operation research first we find out a systems approach it have a some systematic way to solve the application to solve your problem right so that is in some system approach they have a some variables they have some constraint and put it the value in uh, logical sequence and we find out uh, output or we find out optimum value of that problem right this is a systematic approach second we learn as scientific approach in scientific approach we have to apply some scientific methods say with some scientific logical reasons and logical techniques to solve our problems by applying various scientific techniques we will learn in next uh, other lectures in this series clear the third one which is interdisciplinary means here a single person can solve or single person can make a optimal solution they have taken interdisciplinary means if you have a, any product so for developing that product not only one person is there so not only uh, one person we have occupied we have a different interdisciplinary persons who have give their inputs we have give their thought process and do brainstorming and after that developing a successful product right so this is an interdisciplinary model right fourth one is use of computer we have used a computer uh, programming for the operation research we have to find out the various application we have various softwares we to uh, minimize or to optimize the solution we have a uh, different types of software in which we have to just uh, enter the key and we find out the solution this is the best example as i give you as an inventory what happened sometimes you feel that you uh, go or uh, you purchase you want to purchase a medicine and you approach is and go to uh, medical uh, stores what happened you just ask first thing that this medicine uh, was available or will be available in your or is available in your shop so what happened that medical guy was check this just check like as a let's take example of medicine of cold this is citrazine that is a world wide let us find means what they have do they have simple enter the word citrazi in the piece or they give particular if you give a name that is levis fiber right so they enter the levis fiber so what happened they have on that uh, tablet how is so so whenever any uh, soul of uh, leo citrazi or any soul uh, sold uh, of levis fiber strain they make a bill they made a bill and they enter that uh, today a leo the citrazi or levis fiber strain will be uh, was uh, given to someone uh, and that billing is directly connected and as programming in such a way that they have programming with the storage also so if i build a one strip of leo citrazi i directly reduce from the storage so what happened it's directly correlated with it and then they check that no i have on the stock of uh, this medicine but then after they have enter a parameter so they have enter the uh, simple content or ingredients of that medicine means leo citrazine means citrazine they have enter citrazine so they have number of uh, products they have found a number of medicine they have found they ask them uh, ask that we have on this particular medicine but we have another medicine which has a contents of citrazine right so all type of work was done in computer only so this is the basic 
uh, characteristics of population research we are used in that right in very few years ago what happened they have checked uh, this type of uh, medicine is uh, available in store or not they have checked and they have opened the cup cupboard they have opened the boxes and they have checked the leucitanis is where they have uh, uh, leucitanis in uh, levis 5 is where but whatever at extra so this is the basic uh, easy nation or easiest uh, method to uh, solve your problem. This is the base technique and this is the base characteristic use of the computer. Fourth one, this is model building and mathematical manipulation. Means this is mathematic. We have to perform sometimes for mathematical calculation. You have to develop any algorithm, any software which are used for a particular moment like as suppose you have to app, you have to code or you have to make algorithm for inventory control what happened you have to apply mathematical manipulation over there you have to apply mathematical formulation to perform that algorithm right so this all will be categorized in model building and mathematical manipulation characteristics last characteristic is human factor in operation research what happened they always think that this item is available or not this item is not they give optimal solution they give you minimize the cost they minimize the transportation they minimize or they give a perfect assignment to any work they reduces the queue they reduces or they replace uh, his part or machine at appropriate time all things they are uh, finding out and give the solution but they never consider a human factors in it they never calculate the human who involved in it means for a uh, consideration for giving the solution they never uh, work with the human factors they never work with the human wages they never work with the working hours of human they never work with the uh, simply say that uh, uh, emotions of the human that is the main disadvantage of operation research Clear. So these are all the characteristics of operation research. Now we will learn phases of operation research. First phase, that is, formulate the problem. Means first we have to formulate the problem. So for that you have to identify the objective, control variables and uncontrolled variables and constraint, and you have to formulate the problem. Second phase, that is model building. You have to uh, build or you have to make a model on the basis of available constraint available variable and you have to make a model phase 3 will be uh, acquiring input data which data is collected for further analysis and experimentation means what we have to do first to formulate the problem for formulate problem you have to make um, uh, you have to build a model then you have to acquire the data input data for first fourth phase this is solution of model means we have you have to apply a suitable OR techniques and tools to get a required solution so you have to apply a scientific methods clear to give a solution of the model so these are fourth phase now fifth phase will be model testing means after formulating model building uh, equations of bit uh, input data solving the problem you have to validate your model you have to validate your theory for that you have to do a model testing by putting the values of this variable in the model and check the solution whether it is valid or not check the solution whether it is feasible or not feasible all these technical terms feasible solution basic feasible solution infeasible solution we will learn in next lecture in next operation research lectures Right. Next is phase six. So phase six is implementation and control. After completion of five phases, you have a solution of value, and you have to manage, you have to control your exercise, and you have to implement your phase, and you have to implement that model to particular problems, right? And you have to control. So these all are six phases we have to apply during the solving of problem by using operation research techniques right next what are the scope of operation research first one is in agriculture that is in agriculture land allocation water distribution irrigation optimization we have to apply uh, operation research as we see a uh, farmer uh, uh, may be illiterate but 
A or C know that during winter which crops I want to uh, I want to uh, you or C decide in winter which type of crops I want I produce or I uh, make and uh, in uh, different condition which type of crops I mean, that is the crop selection based on the land that is uh, application of water, water distribution sprinkling of uh, methods right so all the uh, agriculture parameters we apply operation research but we don't know as I said uh, earlier lecture that we apply operation research techniques in day to day life but we don't know that we apply the operation research we apply optimum methods for soil right second stage is a finance for profit maximization best example is in finance what happened you have to invest money in share market then you have to check that I have to get such kind of or such uh, amount of profit then I will exit from uh, that particular sale right same thing you have to make an FD in which bank in that bank which offer you a maximum interest rate so maximum profit maximization that is including finance we have that right third one is defense in from defense operation research was invented so but always it will use in defense also for resource allocation of military personnel military operation all the things as you uh, as i say with the example as surgical strike surgical strike what happened they have made each and every planning of the surgical strike each and every perfect uh, military operation uh, defined and make and be a successful strike right so these all where we are used operation research for one is a marketing distribution advertising at where we at which type of marketing we can do or we can uh, we will do that uh, will increase or that will convert into the high production or high demand or high reputation of your company right fifth one we have a production uh, production management the inventory management scheduling routine QA all we will learn in next lectures also sixth one is HR management hiring and firing of staff, employee performance, evolution, all the techniques we have to calculate or we have to implement operation research to finding out a perfect optimal solution. Means suppose a company have required only five employees. So always HR never uh, do or never recruit any, any six member. But if company expand their uh, business, then it may chances to recruit more uh, people for the company so for HR management also they have applied or organization apply the operation research techniques means in small small industry and to maximum or MNC companies organizations there from farming to uh, MNC's companies they have applied the operation research clear so here the application is there project management marketing delivery for logistics inventory over there right uh, for game management, what happened in irrigation system, in uh, project planning, in uh, facility layout, we all think that and we all uh, imply uh, operation research techniques in all the stages. Clear? So, this is the end of this first chapter, right? So, next lecture, we will learn another new topic of operation conditions. Thanks for watching.